inspirational message and it is it says you are immersed in the ocean of God's love you are never alone God is within and all around you discover him and let him lead you with wisdom you are his heir owner of the universe let his love permeate you completely, guiding your will and your steps, enabling you to grow with little or no suffering. Or no suffering. In God, you find everything attained completeness. This is an interesting. <laughs> Sorry, good. We got some children coming here for our youth and children activities. So let's elevate our thoughts to the Creator. Remind ourselves, as the message said, that we are not alone. We are never alone, really. So in all the moments of our lives, moments of joy, let's be grateful. And even be grateful in moments of challenges too. So that's when we are growing. And again, reminding ourselves that Jesus is always holding our hand and helping us to go through. So at this moment, as we start our meeting, we ask the good spirits to bless each one of us bringing light upon everyone who is listening at home or here, our friends in the flesh or in the spirit. So we feel the presence of God as we take this time to nourish our souls. So be it. Thank you, Bernadette. I do also welcome you all here. We're very happy to be together one more time with uh, a new setting over center, which is better. And uh, today's uh, talk that I'm going to be referring to is called Much Will Be Asked of Those Who Have Been Given Much. Everyone to whom much was given, of him much will be required. And from him to whom they entrusted much, they will demand the more. And uh, when I started to read about this uh, passage, <clears throat> I kept thinking about money or possessions. But then after continuing reading on this, I noticed it's not really, the topic is not really about money or position, possessions that we get. Because Jesus said, for judgment I came into this world that those who do not see may see. And those who see may become blind. Some of the Pharisees near him heard these things and said to him, Are we also blind? And Jesus said to them, If you were blind, you would, not have, you would have no guilt. But now that you say, We see, your guilt remains. 
when Jesus came to us, he performed certain special uh, processes that uh, we, we call them miracles. He, he uh, restored sight. He restored life. He shows the road to go back to the Father because he said, I am the path, I am the light, and I am the life. Anyone who knows the precepts of Christ is surely guilty of not practicing, practicing them. But besides that, the gospel, which contains them, is spread only in the Christian religions. But among these, how many are there who do not read it? And among those who read it, how many of them who do not understand it? As a result, the very words of Jesus are lost to the greatest number of people. And this is re really the, how emphatic Jesus was telling us that we do need to read his gospel. That is the path, that is the light, and that's what give, give us life. But unfortunately, there's some, uh, most of the people, even though that uh, the scriptures, they're, they're very easy to, to obtain, very easy to read. I mean, we can read it in our tablets, in our phones, it's on our hands. Before, back then, it was very difficult for us to even have a Bible with us. But now it's so easy to reach and read them. And something that I just mentioned just now, how many of us read them, but we do not understand what it means? What did Jesus Christ really wanted us to understand from his teachings? He taught us his commandments. And the first one is to love God with all our souls, with all our heart. But the second one, it says, love your neighbor as yourself. Just with that commandment, even without religion, just following that commandment, the whole world will change completely. What would have happened if, let's say, 90% of the population on this earth start obeying that commandment, loving one another? What would you, what you guys think that may happen? It, happen, it will happen something very, very substantial. If we don't keep in our minds hurting one another, taking advantage of advantage one another, then there will be no reason for us to continue having trials. And that is our goal that we spiritists, that's where we want to go on our next step that will not be necessary for us to come back and take a, another physical body in order for us to be tried. We'll be climbing the ladder of spiritism in a different scale, in, in a, uh, above the, uh, the one that we are right now. And who knows, perhaps, whatever remains in this uh, planet 
it might be just very few people they still do not understand the precepts that Jesus taught to us. Wouldn't that be great if we don't have to come back and start hurting because it's cold or because I got this bad disease in my body and just leave, continue living in a better way. Continue living, continue learning about the life of Jesus. This morning I was listening to another talk and the gentleman he spoke, he said that uh, Jesus Christ uh, was asked just uh, they were asking him, just show us the Father, and that's all for us. And he told them, you have been with me. He's talking about to his, his disciples. He says, you've been with me all this time. If you, if, if you still don't know me, then you don't know the Father. That is the reason why he's saying earlier that those that they can see, they're still blind. And that happens. Out there, there is still a lot of people that even though they have all their uh, senses complete, they still don't get it. They still do not understand. They're, we're here to become better. When we, before we start a prayer, we said, let's, let's elevate our thoughts. As Bernadette told us this morning. And we do elevate our thoughts. But how often do we do that? How often do we have to do that? And the answer is all the time. We need to forget about and get rid of those uh, uh, shackles from the early and physical uh, things that we get attached very easily. Once we start forgetting about those things, then we start evolving a little bit better. Because we know for a fact that because of the communications, the uh, psychophony that uh, we perform, perform here in some other places, we start noticing that the minds of those spirits that they come and communicate with us, they're still very well attached to those material things of the earth. And it's sometimes for them it's very dif difficult for them to get rid of that. And I would say that's one of the major things that they have to do in order for them first to learn that they're already in a different a sphere in the spiritual realm, which everything changes. Because when they come here, we can ask them, or we ask them, do you remember where you were before you came here? They don't know. They haven't, the majority of them, they still do not know that they have already passed that they have transitioned from the physical world into the spiritual world. And they need to be taught about that. That they have already transcended the material things and they have to put those material things uh, for the past. Uh, it's very important for us to continue learning and really seeing what is best for us. And uh, we need to make the effort every single day to do just at least a little bit. I was learning this morning as well that if we make the effort to read only five minutes of the scriptures the, or the gospel, 
in controversy of that, we spent 30 minutes on the media chatting with friends or just looking at things that they're in the, in the web. We pay more attention to those things sometimes than what is really important for us. We are blessed and covered with beautiful things that if we pay good attention to that via through meditation or just calming ourselves from the all the things that they revolved around us then we can start sensing that energy recovering ourselves from whatever trial we're passing through just the simple fact that if we keep thinking that we will never die, only our flesh will remain in the earth, but our spirit that is really the main essence of our existence will continue on, trying to continue evolve every single time we come to this earth as a human beings. Just by thinking of that, we do have a lot of time ahead of us. We still have a lot of trials still to, to put up with. We still have so many things to do. And learning is great. Make us understand things that we did not comprehend before. But unfortunately, my friends, is the fact is that today's advancement in science, in religion, in knowledge, people start now, the scientists, they start thinking how to get to Mars because we already supposedly where it got to, to, to the moon. We want to expand things, do things. But even though with all that progress that we can acquire now, unfortunately, man has not, or still do, doesn't want to to get closer to the Lord, to God. If we know that, if we claim that we have studied on this university of, we have this, uh, um, this higher knowledge in a subject, then we need to think really that we need to learn the scriptures better in a better way. But again, unfortunately, we have the tendency, when we read the scriptures, we have the tendency to take the scriptures literally. The scriptures, and the, the, all the things that are in the Bible, there's just short stories of a very long or, or much bigger stories in there. This is just fragments of it. So we cannot really comprehend the whole thing, but it's, what is there is just the real idea of what we need to learn for our times. And that's good news because if we share those, that knowledge with others, at the beginning they may not do, under, will not understand, they may not admit because of their prejudices, because of their religions, the difference in believing on this or in that. At the end, when we go back to the spiritual world, everything is going to be the same. 
they, they, of, there, there will be no discussions of religions or concepts about uh, sacred uh, beliefs. Everything is going to be the same because we came from the same source, all, all of us. Things, they will change completely. Then I want to read something else that says, those who do, not, who do not avail themselves of them for the purposes of their own improvement, who admires them as an interesting and curious things without being touched in the heart, and who are not less vain, no less proud, no less selfish, no less attached to material goods, and no better for their neighbor, are all the more blameworthy because they have more means of knowing the truth. In a word for us, it says, mediums who obtain good communications are even more reprehensible for persisting in evil. And uh, that did call my attention because since uh, uh, I was very young, I wanted to know so many things. I had questions myself. Why the earth moves? Why we have only 10 planets and not nine? If I tell that to my friends, they said, this guy is crazy. Why does he want to know these things? And there were things that uh, I had uh, questions myself, and I just, I don't even say in by words, I just thought about those questions. And something happened to me that the inspirations, they came to me through the spirits. And they gave me the answers. For instance, um, the church that I go to, it says, we are the, is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And I, I got the question at the very, that moment, it says, why the, uh, of the of the last uh, 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 days. Are we really living the last days, as they say? So that, that was my question in the morning. And then inspiration came. It's not really the last days. This is not the, the end of the times. It's like saying I'm going to die tomorrow. Well, I know for a fact I'm not. I'm not. My body may stop functioning, but my life will continue on forever. And these are not really the last days. The last days is because people start getting more conscious about what is best for us. It's just changing our minds into the good performing the good for every everybody. Everybody deserves the same treatment that we can do to ourselves. Because we have all been, we all have been created the same, exactly the same. People, they may think, oh, because I have all this knowledge in uh, astrophysics. I'm better than this other guy that he is only in, uh, just only went through primary school. Not really. Knowledge like that does not give us any benefit whatsoever. It's just being, what it says here, more, uh, more selfish. And we know, I think we all know somebody in our 
community that feels selfish about. But let's just say, let's just feel selfish about helping one another. I was looking at the video that my friends from the medical school, they sent me, and there was this gentleman that he lost his body from the waist down. And he was performing so many things with two uh, uh, little stools. He put one here and then moved to that one and then put it, then the other one put it in front of him and then start jumping to one to another and that's the way he was moving. He got to a truck, he, driving the truck, he went and picked up about, probably about 300 uh, uh, pieces of uh, uh, wood in there and he was up there helping and put him in there. How is it that we are complete, supposedly complete, without all senses, and we cannot do that much. I also have a brother from the from church that he's blind, and he was listening to because we have a, a one hour of teaching, and I just kept looking at him like this, looking at what what he what was in his mind. Of course, he had his eyes closed because, because he couldn't see. And I was thinking myself, is he sleeping or he's awake or what is he doing? Then one of the uh, sisters, they come here uh, late and everybody start looking at, at that uh, 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 sister. He's kind of following her when she goes and sits down. And he remained quiet. He didn't care. He didn't notice that. So our sight gives us a lot of power, but also a lot of temptation for the things that people they show, show us through media, through TV, through news, all that. And those are the things that we still need to get rid of those things because we need to go to a better place with a mind of continue learning and doing the good because that's what's going to be asked for us when we get there. And I share these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.